2022 will be a historic year for world geopolitical conditions. Who would have thought that the war between Russia and Ukraine that erupted on February 24, 2022 would put the world on the verge of a prolonged conflict? Reporting from a number of sources, Tribunews tries to summarize the course of the war. It is known that Russia is so aggressive in carrying out military attacks from land, air and sea. Whereas previously, Russian President Vladimir Putin had repeatedly denied that he would attack Ukraine even though thousands of troops were already on alert on the Russian-Ukrainian border. However, in his speech at the time the offensive began, Putin made it clear that his side did not feel safe with Ukraine's approach to NATO. It is known, NATO is Moscow's defense rival. Russia cannot feel safe, develop and exist because of the constant threats from Ukraine today. NATO threatens our historic future as a nation, he said in a Russian-language speech translated by the BBC on the morning of February 25th, two loud explosions were reportedly heard in downtown Kyiv, Ukraine. Explosions were heard as Russian troops began to approach the Ukrainian capital reporting from CNA, the 25th of February 2022. Russian attacks were launched on a number of cities in Ukraine by thousands of military troops. The West calls it an invasion, including the United States, US, Russia fired missiles into Ukrainian territory and has left tens of thousands of people dead and injured. The US and its allies consider Russia to have violated national sovereignty after carrying out attacks on Ukraine for nine months and are considered a war crime. Entering the 10th month, it is known that the war is still going on and there is no sign of it ending. Most recently, on Friday, 16-12-2022, Ukraine claimed to have been hit by 76 missiles by Russia. Responding to this situation, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky prepared for Russia to prepare a more devastating attack. Even as Christmas Day came, Russia still launched more than 10 rocket attacks on the Kapiansk district of the Kharkiv region shelling more than 25 towns along the Kapiansk line in front. According to Reuters, Ukraine's main military command confirmed that in Zaporizhia, Moscow forces attacked nearly 20 towns. On the other hand, Russia's defense ministry said on Sunday that it had killed around 60 Ukrainian servicemen along the Kapiansk line in contact line the previous day. He also claimed to have destroyed a lot of Ukrainian military equipment.